We have a celebrity chef in our midst. Uh, you are going to be more than Jacksonville famous now because this is our man, Jordan Polarski. He's competing on Food Network's Spring Baking Championships. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me. So you are local, even though you're originally from Pennsylvania. We won't hold that against you. But yeah, so the competition just started. You represent Jacksonville from Amelia Island, right? Yes, I reside in Amelia Island as of now. Okay. So I guess Jacksonville as a whole, too. So how did you get involved in the competition? Um, I actually got sought out, actually, in July from one of the producers um, on Facebook. You see guys talking about social media. So on Facebook, and uh, they told me I'd be a good fit. I didn't think it was real, to be honest with you. I was like, oh, this is my dream. This is insane. Um, and next thing you know, I had a phone interview. I had a Skype interview. I had another Skype interview. Um, and then it was, here's your flight information. You're flying out to L.A. And here you go. Wow. And I was yeah, thrown into the cameras and everything else. It was fun. It was really so did fun. you know, like, if you're, what you were going to bake already? Or? I had no idea. Every oh day gosh. was... A different day. Every day you walked into the studio and you had no idea what was going on. So, oh, so they threw you out there cold. Oh, this is, this is, yeah, this is all out in the cold. This is, you know, take your skills to the test. And it was, it was humbling and it was, it was fun. It was scary. How, how'd you handle the pressure? You know, I, I like to say I have a very even keel. Like, I'm very Seems calm. Like I'm very calm, not very stressed out. Um, but I can tell you what, it was, the, it was the most stressful I've ever been in my life. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't show it too much. Well, have you ever been in front of a camera in that kind of no, situation I've before then? Oh, my not gosh. Even nothing, not at all. Wow. I, I mean, not even a little bit. That's well, I think you did fantastic. So we're seeing the video right here of some of the stuff, creations. Had you ever worked with some of those, like, I see blow torches and that kind of stuff? I actually, I mean, I have a bachelor's degree in pastry arts. So I, I went to school for four years, and I, I mean, I've worked with everything. Um, so this was really a good test for my skill. I mean, I'm only 22 years old. I just graduated last May, and being the youngest competitor on the competition, it was something like, you know, let's see what I can prove. Let's see who I can prove wrong, you know? Did you get any side-eye from some of the olders? Like, who is this young kid <laughs> yeah, trying to come course, in here? Of course, of course, of course. You always get that. But it, it was, every, all the competitors, it was, it was incredibly fun. They're all awesome Well, can people. you give me any tips, like, for a mom that loves to, well, the kids, you know, they yeah. always want to bake and stuff? Well, watching the show, you're going to see a lot of things, a lot of different things. We have professional pastry chefs. We have home bakers on the show. So there's okay. actually everything on the show you can bake in your home kitchen. Okay. So um, uh tips-wise, I don't... I don't really know. Just it's baking is fun, so make it fun. You know, you do fun things with your kids. You know, um, making little tarts or making something that they can draw on, or um, it's just a fun thing to do, and I really, really enjoy it. So I think everyone else can. What are you gonna do after this launches you? I mean, you're a pastry chef right now, but I mean, you have kind of got some TV looks. Are you prepared <laughs> for all of the attention that's about to come your way? I don't. You know, I'm I'm very humble, so I'm I'm staying humble. I'm riding the wave. I'm you know. It's, it aired this past Sunday. It's been crazy ever since. And oh, what I, was you know, the reaction like from oh, your family? Oh, my gosh. I had to turn off my phone. They had, a, <laughs> um, they had a viewing party at my home in Pennsylvania, so they were sending me videos. I was FaceTiming them because I was at home here. Um, but, no, there's the support from my family and my friends, it's just incredible. So, I, I, yeah, I did have to turn off my phone. It was too much. <laughs> it was like I needed to watch it Aww. and stay focused. Well, what, what's one thing that you made? I can't. Uh, well, the one thing I guess we did bunny cakes and Easter um, oh, egg desserts oh, nice. okay. in the first episode. Then we did, you know, tropical vacation donuts. Oh man, and, you did uh, it all! And some tropical fruits we used. Those are the first two episodes. Okay. Uh, the next episode is actually all about derby desserts. Okay. Desserts. So you know. Um, Bourbon, cool. uh, stuff like that. Go. So it's going to be really fun. <laughs> well, Jacksonville, support your locals. The show is on Sundays at 9 p.m. on the Food Network. Make sure and ch check it out. If you want to know more about Jordan, what he's doing with the show, and maybe some of the things he's doing up in Amelia Island, go to our website, rivercitylivetv.com, and click on the As Seen on RCL tab. Good luck to you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.